Can you hear me, doctor? Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning, doctor? Fine, thank you. I'm doing well. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Now, does hand sanitizers work as soap and water or more potent? Um, water is always more effective uh, in the washing of hands with soap and water. However, it's advised that if you are in an area or you are in a place where you can't access water at the time, kindly use your sanitizer. However, when you go out uh, and you're back home, still wash your hands. So hand washing um, can't be overemphasized. It's essential. Despite the use of the hand sanitizer, hand washing is still very effective. Interestingly, you, you did say hand washing should be emphasized, but there seems to be a de-emphasis de on that and an overemphasis on um, the alcoholic content of hand sanitizers. Why so much emphasis on that? Uh, the reason is the percentage of alcohol present in a sanitizer determines the effectiveness of that sanitizer. Uh, several tests have been carried out on uh, bacterial strains and viral strains have been found out that at an alcoholic content of 70% uh, or, or, or minimally 60%, but 70% maximally has been found to destroy the cell membranes of viruses and affect or denature their proteins thereby rendering it inactive. Hence, the need to have the alcoholic content in uh, hand-based sanitizers at that percentage. That's the essence for the emphasis. So if I get you correctly, Dr. Benga, any, any hand sanitizer with an alcoholic percentage of below 70% is not effective? Not necessarily just the alcoholic content alone. Right. Uh, the other ingredients in it formulated accordingly using the right kind of alcohol. Not all alcohols are um, safe on the skin. All right. Now, the use of hand sanitizers have been largely misplaced. Can you show us the proper way to apply hand sanitizers? Yes, I can. OK. OK. This is a hand sanitizer here, as you can see. Now, you depress the cup and it dispenses some quantity into your hand. Now, the main contact points are the tip of your fingers. So you dip your fingers into that sanitizer pack that is on your palm and equally do the same with the other finger. Gradually rub both hands together, the left doing that on the right, and the right also on the left. Then in between the fingers, in between the digits, this within a 20 second time frame, within which you should have inactivated the viruses or microorganisms present on the skin. This is the ideal uh, sanitizer application process. All right, Dr. thank you for showing us that exercise and how to go about it. Now, now these materials are becoming more expensive and, and scarce. Is there a way for us to come up with homemade hand sanitizers? Any recommendations by you? Um, yes, basically the use of um, aloe vera gel, which could be gotten from the aloe vera gel plant, which serves as the gel base. Uh, the addition of uh, an essential oil, maybe tea tree oil, Essential um, ingredients also could be added, like glycerin, which is easily and readily available. And then um, um, isopropyl alcohol, which is gotten in um, stores where available at the required percentage, mixed in the right proportions, is able to give you uh, a home-based hand sanitizer. However, uh, it should be also recognized that your hand sanitizer is effective at this percentage when formulated well and should be used accordingly. All right, Dr. Benga, it's been a pleasure having you join us and thank you for your time. Thank you very much.